Electricity coverage in the country has been estimated at 72%. Even with this coverage, several communities have to be subjected to power rationing, whilst others do not have access to the national grid. In a tropical country like Ghana, the sun is said to be the most abundant natural element that provides renewable energy. However, the technology to tap the sun's energy is an expensive venture. Many private institutions are augmenting government's efforts to promote renewable energy in the country. But unlike other solar energy equipment on the market, the Solar 2 Africa 400 is specifically designed for operation in Africa. It is portable, affordable and easy to use. When fully charged, it can be used to power lights and small appliances such as fans, television and radio to up to six hours daily. The product, which will be on the Ghanaian market with the collaboration of Power for Africa and GEM Technologies, a local company, is meant to improve educational standards, especially in communities without electricity. We wanted a product that could provide basic power generation without fuel, give low power lighting, be solar chargeable and have a portable battery system. All these ideas are embraced in the Solar to Africa 400 at a price point found nowhere else in the market. The managing director of GEM Technologies, Mr. John Nyami, called on companies to take advantage of the product to impact the lives of the communities in which they find themselves. With less power from solar, we can set up a whole ICT center, you know. And as I'm talking to you now, I, I'm glad to announce to you that GEM Technologies have fully funded, you know, a project of this nature in the Vota region, in Dadome to be precise, near Adidome. At least just to show you that this is workable, this is practicable, and, and we are amazed the transformation is bringing to the people. The Deputy Director of Renewable Energy at the Ministry of Energy, Mr. Seth Mahut, said the government has initiated several projects to promote renewable energy and it welcomes private partnership in order to achieve a 10% share of renewable energy in electricity generation mix by the year 2020. The Ministry's utmost desire is to see Solar to Africa 400 become a major flagship private sector-led project that will contribute significantly to achieving our policy goal of universal access by 2020. We also look forward to your periodic updates and reports to improve and deepen our understanding of off-grid solar energy challenges and opportunities.